Hello YouTube and welcome back to a new Unity 3D tutorial, our hundredth Unity 3D tutorial. And if you didn't guess what this tutorial is going to be about, it's including a space station. So keep guessing if you can't guess by the end of the video. I don't know. But yeah, so we're going to put a space station into our whole game now. And the reason for this is the space station usually represents space. So we're going to be able to make it in our game that you can walk around on this land or go up into space and fly around space. Now you may think, well, it's just an add-on feature, but it's not. Think of the programming potential. We can make that one first person only, well as we can make this one third person and first person. So you fly you're actually going to make a first person shooter in space and land down here. So what I'm gonna do first is drag our space station out and look at it and go lol it's too small actually no there we go it's right yeah <laughs> that was funny but yeah so we have a space station as you can see it's poorly textured that's because I'll explain in a minute but um, if we rotate it say 90 and I just want to put it roughly around here that'll do and what we'll do is we'll also drag our character over here so we've got easy access what I'm going to do is go into it and I'm going to click the model and I'm going to make sure generate colliders is ticked and click apply so once that's done you won't be able to walk into it which is what we want but then what we're going to do is look at the materials of it so say if we click the walls here we're going to see that it uses a texture called Humvee which is not what we want but what material does it use if we find where the material is stored which is mesh renderer no name is that one so what we need to do is create some new materials for our model. So if we go into the model and YouTube Space Station, so we'll just re get the name of this, create a new folder inside this called YouTube Space Station, hide this and paste these, paste that into there. Then we're going to create a, just a few materials, not loads, just for now to suit it into our texture it properly. So we'll call this one walls, and we'll find the brick texture and put that on there. What else do we have? So we can apply that straight to it and as you can see it looks awful. So let's play with the tiling file that'll do. And I also want to put this on this weird thing here, the arch. So we can stick that on there. Yeah that'll do. But I want some wood for the sign. So new material, wood. Fingers crossed we actually have some wood of some kind. A campfire wood will do. I believe that's one of Unity's default ones, but it'll do. There, there, and there. Welcome to you to Space Station. We'll just make it five by five. Just ah, that looks horrible. Two by two. That'll do. And that's perfect. So we'll just do another. We'll just do one more called metal for the actual framework. And let's see if we'll get anything metal. Uh, steel, that'll do, patch steel. So go back and we'll put this to here and to the stairs and also the top of this. In fact, I want that bit to be wood. The around of it can be, yeah, that'll work. But I want these bits around here to be metal. Perfect. So it looks horrible, I know, but it looks better than what it did. So I also hope you liked the montage before. I um I did model this space station, I just wanted to prove I did. But so let's see if we can walk up the stairs. This may not work as well. So you do have to jump but I'm gonna show you a little tip. Um in a couple of tutorials which allows you to walk upstairs really easily without using any add-on packs like locomotion but yeah so we can walk up to the top da, da, da. what I'm going to do in another tutorial is make it so when you go up the top or the bottom you can fly to space I'm um, also going to improve it here I stopped it around there because the video was going a bit long so we've got that well, now what we need to do is actually start creating our universe. Now when I first started in Unity, this was one of the first things I did, and I loved doing it. Finding new planets, building your own universe. It's really, really cool. So what we're going to do is go File, New Scene. So, first thing we need in Universe. We need a spaceship, which we'll get around to, and a planet. So let's create our planet. 
So I'm going to go game object, create other sphere. Now you can use a cube if you're one of those people who believe planets are square. But if you believe they're flat, then you can flatten the cube down and use a plane. But I'm one of those people who believe planets are spheres, so I'm going to use a sphere. So, what we're going to do for just size purpose, because if we put that into our game, we know it's going to be small. I'm going to drag the prefab of our character out. There. Because then what we can do is go to the side and scale the planet so it looks about right. So I'll say, from that, if we drag our player all the way out and make our sphere, say 200, in fact 100, 100, and 100. Hmm, does that look big enough? A mm, little bit bigger. You don't want to do it realistically scale because Unity does have um, a limit on your things you can have. That'll do. Because I once did the planets exactly to scale, so as in me compared this to meters and did it for each planet, and I got three planets on before it died. Isn't good. So we've got our character and we've got that. So we need a name for our planet. So I went round and a texture and I found this website here called Free Bitmaps um, Planetary Services and everything. This is in the description. Whoever made this website is a, an amazing person because there are so many planet textures. You scroll down and then you can see all those. But then if you scroll up and you can click on different archives, so 12, 11, 10, and they all contain loads of different ones. It's really, really cool. So I chose one out of all these called planet Cernip here. I chose it because it's green just like our map so it's really really cool and the images are really high quality and proper planet textures for spheres so I downloaded that into Unity if I show you and I stuck it somewhere called planets there we go so we're going to attach that to that boom and I'll just scale it down a little bit mm, I'll keep it like it is then so as you can see we have a planet it looks cool so I'm gonna um, rename this to our actual planet so planet underscore you need the underscore else it'll not work very well so we have that and we're gonna start modifying our character a little bit I'm gonna remove the scripts off of here I'll speed it up quickly and then I'll come back and tell you which ones I've kept and why so back in a minute Okay, so I'm back and I've kept a few of them, which I'll explain now. Character control and rigid body, simply because you do need them. But what I'm going to do is turn gravity off of the rigid body so it doesn't fall down so we can keep it. Um, we'll keep the audio source on so we can play audio from our character. We're going to keep the player's inventory on because this stores what the player's going in, in, in his inventory and gives us easy access to it. So we're going to keep that on. Collection we keep it on so we can collect things. Go our inventory we're going to keep on so we can add straight to our inventory so on land we can have iron, rock, wood and stuff but then we can also access our space stuff so meteorite and stuff like that and player stats we're going to keep on because we're going to add to here so spaceship kills stuff like that so it'd be really cool so if you look inside here there's a lot of things we can actually remove we can get rid of arachnid, main char, smoke particles, weather, wolf and bullets We'll keep bullet spawn point, but we can get rid of all them. Boom. If we enable main camera FPS and get rid of the actual main camera because we don't need it, now we have a lot better looking actual, well, spaceship kind of thing. So what we're going to actually do is make it so you can move around with your mouse and it will work really well. So we're going to save this. And I'm just going to save this as, in my levels folder, universe. Just like that. So, that's all in the description. Um, I'm going to drop it now, just getting the basic setup, showing you that, showing you what's going to come on. The way it's going to work is some days we'll get a u normal Unity tutorial, like third person, and then other times we'll get space tutorials. I'll mix between the two, so we can chuck some things what won't fit into our f land game into our space game, and so on. So, it'll be really, really cool. Thank you for watching. I hope you liked it. Join my Facebook group and also in the description of this video there's a a like a little info section where showing you what videos will be when and stuff. So thank you for watching and see you next time.